Hey guys, welcome back to Maker Squared. I'm Noah. And I'm Grant. And today for this project video, we're going to be making an LED 7 segment display. Just so you know, this project does require a 3D printer, for which you'll find an STL file in the description below. If you don't have a 3D printer, you could always make something similar with a piece of perf board. Please also keep in mind that this project requires a lot of time and effort, sufficient soldering skills, and small pieces. For this project video, we'll be using an LED strip for their small LEDs. First, you'll want to cut seven LEDs off the LED strip. Now you'll want to cut the LEDs off the strip, leaving about two millimeters on either side. Now trim the sides flush to the edge of the LED. Now scrape the coating off next to each LED, revealing the copper below. Now, take the adhesive backing off of each LED. Fold each side onto the back so it sticks down. Here's a schematic of how you will wire each of the LEDs into the circuit. Place each LED in the correct direction into the 3D printed box according to the schematic. It's crucial for the project that they're in the right orientation, so pay extra close attention for this step. Cut two inches of wire and then strip the whole thing and then trim it in half so you have two one inch pieces of wire. Bend each one inch piece of wire into a capital I shape so it will touch four of the LED anodes. Now, size the eye shape accordingly so it'll touch all of the LED anodes. Next, put a dab of hot glue between the four LEDs. Next, place the copper eye into the glue so it's touching all the copper anodes, and then adjust it as necessary so it will fit. Next, do the same thing on the other side.
Carefully solder the copper wire to each of the LEDs. Make sure not to bridge across to the other lead. Now cut 8 lengths of wire about 3 to 4 inches long as shown in the video and strip one end. Now feed each wire through its correct hole, secure it with a bit of hot glue and solder in place. Solder a ground wire to the copper wire we stripped and glued in before, and then solder the final wire. Make sure to do the final wire afterwards so as to leave room for the ground. Now trim all the wires to the desired length so that they line up. Strip each wire, but make sure to hold it with a pair of pliers so you don't rip the LEDs out of their places. And you're done! Congratulations for getting this far! Here's a picture of how the display is wired up. This display is a common anode display, which means that all the grounds are connected into one wire, which you'll connect to a single pin on the Arduino. Add a 330 ohm resistor to each wire and connect it to its own pin on the Arduino, and you're good to go. We'll leave code for the Arduino in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching, we really hope you liked it. If you did, please do hit that like button, and if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe.